Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. And Kishal, I hope you all are doing well. In every gate paper or in every gate stream, there is one subject which contains the maximum weightage. And if you prepare minimally for it, you can score 15 out of it. And yes, that is general aptitude. So every year, in every gate stream paper, like it, it can be computer science, it can be electrical, mechanical, every paper, there are 15 marks allotted for general aptitude. And if you prepare minimally for it without much of technical skill, you can grab 15 out of 50. But still, student has a confusion about it that how to prepare for this part. Because, you know, the problem is IIT used to ask some kind of random questions every year. They choose few topics from the vast syllabus of general aptitude and they will ask you a few questions from it. So that's why it's very difficult to predict the pattern because there is no such pattern actually uh, from where these questions are being asked every year. So that's why students are often just confused that, you know, where to, from where they should prepare for it or from where they should practice uh, these questions so that they can uh, score as much as possible in the final exam. And also at the same time, they have another confusion that when they should solve these aptitude questions in the final exam, whether they should solve it uh, in the beginning of the, uh, of the exam or in the middle or at the end. So that is also one kind of confusion that students used to have. So that's why I thought, let's make a video and discuss among these things uh, in detail and share my experience also. So yeah, that will be the content of this video. I'll be talking about that how you should prepare for the aptitude part so that you can make sure you are getting 15 out of 15 in the final exam. And I will also share that, you know, how you should uh, you should approach this question in the final exam, whether you should attempt the question in the very beginning or in the middle or in the end. So that will be the content of today's video and also at the end I'll be sharing my experience also about aptitude part that how I was not at all good in the aptitude part in my first two attempts of the gate exam but later I, I, I improved my skills and in the final exam how was my score. So everything will be there in this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in this video till end and before starting the video as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that Whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification. And don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video. Without any delay, let's get started into today's video. So as I was mentioning earlier, aptitude or general aptitude contains the most weightage in any gate paper compared to any other subject, that is 15 marks. And you don't need much of technical skills to do well in this part. If your general aptitude skills are good, with a decent paper essay, you can score 15 out of 15 in the final gate exam. At least more than 10 you can score. And these 15 marks, you know, makes a significant difference if you are aiming for those good sweet spot like, you know, top 100 rank up to up 200 rank. Because 15 marks is a huge mark and that makes a, a, a difference in your final gate rank. So that's why aptitude part is really, really important. But the issue is, as I was saying, that the question that is being asked by IIT for aptitude part, it's, it's, it's a bit random. You know, there is no certain pattern that is being followed. In aptitude syllabus, there are a lot of topics that is there. I used to choose few topics for a gate paper and we'll ask you a uh, few questions. Even across the streams also, you can't see any pattern. Every year, maybe from CSE, they're asking a question from some topic. From mechanical, they're asking questions from some other topic. So there is no certain pattern that is being followed. And there is the problem. So here is the first confusion among the students that how they will prepare for the aptitude part so that they can make sure uh, they will score 15 out of 15 in the final gate exam. So I have seen students preparing from different other books that is available uh, for aptitude part in the market. Like R.S. Agarwal book is a very famous book uh, in the market, which is which is quite popular for, for the aptitude part for different other exams like CAD. Or, or CGL and this kind of example where aptitude plays a very, very big role and weightage is even more than the gate syllabus. But I personally feel, you know, preparing for RS Agarwal is not a good strategy for gate preparation because RS Agarwal is a huge book which contains almost all the topics that is there in aptitude and there are many questions that is available. But, you know, we don't have uh, that much weightage uh, in gate syllabus for aptitude. I mean, it, yeah, 15 marks is there, but you, you should give more focus to the technical part like the rest 85 marks so that's why uh, if you if you start preparing for rs overall it will it will take around six months to prepare for the aptitude part and that is something is not needed so that's why preparing for these kind of books is not a good strategy rather what i suggest to you that you you collect all the previous year question uh, paper from all the streams 
and see their aptitude questions. So if you solve all the aptitude questions of different streams, that will be more than sufficient. So if I remember correctly, this aptitude part is introduced in 2008 or 2010. So since then, if you collect all the aptitude questions from different streams, so for, for each stream, there will be at least 20 to 25 papers that is uh, that is available. And if there is like 10 stream you are collecting, so that means 200 papers questions that is be there. So I think that is a huge amount of, uh, you know, bunch of question paper that is available. And if you prepare for that, uh, following their solutions, which is also available, that will be sufficient for the body your preparation for gate. And, and if you prepare for it, I, I'm sure that you will be able to achieve more than 10 marks in the in the final exam in the aptitude part. Yeah, so that you may suggest and that you solve all the aptitude questions from previous year question paper from different streams and try to solve them following the solution that is also available. And once you are done with this preparation, give some mock tests to validate your preparation about the aptitude. I think that will be sufficient. Now, the next question among the students is that when they should appear or they should attempt this aptitude question in the, in the final exam, whether they should attempt it in the beginning or in the middle or at the end. So I personally feel that you should attempt it in the beginning because, you know, in the beginning you are in the fresh mind and these questions that you are saying, the aptitude question is very random. So you need a fresh set of mind to solve this question because you don't know which kind of question will be asked and you have to apply your aptitude skill instantly there to solve this question. So in the beginning of the exam, you know, your mind is fresh. So that's why, you know, if you solve them in the, in the beginning, maybe it will take 15 to 20 minutes, but yeah. I mean, if you solve them immediately after starting the exam, I think, you know, you can solve it maximally. You can score maximum out of 15 marks. But again, this is something you can try out during the mock test. Like you can you can see what, how much you are scoring uh, during the mock test. Like what I did during my 2017 gate preparation is that few few mock tests, I appeared for the average in the beginning. Few mock tests, I, 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 I solved it in the middle. And in the few mock tests, I solved it in the, in the end. And what I've observed is that whenever I am solving in the beginning, I am able to score uh, the maximum because as I was saying that that time I was stressed out of mind, I didn't see the technical part. So I have no idea about the technical part and I'm solving the aptitude part. So there is no pressure uh, on it. So that's why I, 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 I'm able to solve the aptitude part freely. But rather when I'm solving in the middle or the end, then already, you know, I know how my exam is going on. Uh, if I'm not able to do well in the technical part, that pressure is there. So, so that so the, you know, the, the pressure or load, the tension is there. So that's why I'm not able to do well when I was when I was solving the aptitude course in the middle or the end. So this is something you can also try out during the mock test that uh, you try to solve the course in the beginning, in the middle, in the end, and see where you are doing well. Uh, and based on that, you can you can you can uh, you know decide when to solve this question in the final exam. But my personal suggestion would be that you try to solve it in the beginning, so that you will be the fresh set of mind and you can solve uh, as much as possible without seeing the technical part of the question. And I think that will be beneficial for you. Finally, I'll share my experience or my journey with the general aptitude part. So as you all know, that I have appeared for Gate four times, 2014, 15, 16, and 17. So in my first two attempts, like 14 and 15, I was not at all uh, preparing for the aptitude part. So my understanding was that aptitude, aptitude is something that is completely random. So you have to use your brain in the final exam and you have to solve it. So that's how I approached the aptitude part in 2014 and 15. And I, I remember that I got around four or three in, in these two exams. So le even less than five months I was getting in aptitude. So then I realized that, you know, maybe I have to prepare a bit for, for the aptitude part. So that's why in 2016, you know, I solved all the CSE paper aptitude part. And I remember I got around seven or eight. Then I realized that this part is also not sufficient. I have to prepare more because literally what's happening was that I, I was appearing for gate for the 85 marks. So the, the 15 marks of aptitude was completely random, completely uncertain, which I was leaving out. I was not preparing uh, much for this part. So then I decided that I have to solve all the previous year question paper from different streams. So that I did for my 2017 gate attempt. And also I decided that when I should appear for, for this aptitude part. So I, I have, as I said that I have given few mock tests and then I decided that, you know, if I even solve it in the beginning, uh, that is giving me maximum, maximum benefit. So yeah, I mean, then in the final exam, I remember in 2017, I got 12 out of 15. So I hope you understand, you know, from the first two attempts, I was getting less than five. In third attempt, I got seven. But in the final attempt, 
in 2017 i got 12 so that's a huge difference now uh, because if you're getting 12 or more than 12 out of 15 in the gate exam that's a huge difference if you are aiming for those top 100 rank or top 200 rank so yeah that was kind of my journey so this is something i have realized that this part is also very important it's an it's not a core part in your gate paper but the, the weight it, it, it contains the 15 mark that is very very important if you're aiming for a top 100 and top 200 so yeah that's it guys that's it about this video so this is a question that many of you have asked me that please make a separate video about the aptitude part that how to get 15 out of 15 or maximum marks from the aptitude and i hope this video will be helpful for you so please prepare from different sets of questions previous questions that is available for different streams and 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 see the strategy that you should follow that whether you should you should uh, solve the question in the beginning or in the middle of the end so that also you have to decide so for that give some mock test and see where you are doing well and based on that you decide so please like this video if you have liked it and let me know if you have any question for the question or query about this topic or let me know anything in the comment section if you have liked this video or not if you have any suggestion for the video or not so i'll be looking forward to your comments because uh, those are really inspiring for me to make more more videos and if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload a new video, you will get a notification. That's it about this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then.